Look at that line. Oh my god. What is up everybody? This is Jake back with another video and today I had a cool little video planned for you but something interrupted it and that's palletful packs. Totally, totally fine to be interrupted by palletful packs because every time I've gotten palletful packs, ugh, chef's kiss. It's been great every time. So, super stoked to get into this one. I hope it's pretty good, but before we do, subscribe to the channel. Don't like it? Watch the video first. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. But you gotta make a deal with me. If you dislike it, just leave me a comment below. Let me know why you disliked it. Because I like to know. I like to, I like to always improve these videos and make them a little bit better, a little bit more entertaining for you guys. What kind of fair deal are you gonna get? So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I am stoked. Yeah, Palf Packs. All right, let's get to getting. I'm super stoked. Palfel's been good to me. So, so very good to me. Oh, I probably just jinxed it. Maybe not. Oh, I love that purple. Purple and green's my favorite color combination. So right off the bat, this is good. And I think I see some fine liners. Oh, oh, be still my beating heart. Oh my God, it's a girl Micron. Oh, please be black. I hope yeah, they are. Limited edition black barrel set. Oh, hmm. oh just give me a second. Let me... Let me just take this in. These are my favorite pins on this planet. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to get everything laid out, and I'll be right back. I'm, I don't care. This whole box is worth that. I'll be right back. Oh. Oh, this is just... Oh. Okay, so this is great. This is absolutely great. I know what these are. We've already used them. Already had them before. I love the Tombow pins here. And they're good stuff. The brush tips on them are excellent. The fine tip points are good. These are the greatest pins ever made. And they gave you a little Palletful Packs Edition sketchbook. Oh, this is everything I could ask for in a box. Dude, Palletful, I'm, I'm telling you, Palletful may have become my favorite. Because every box so far has been really good. The first one I got was the uh, with the graphite one. I drew the Nemesis from Resident Evil on it. And it was incredible. Like, the whole box was incredible. And then this one is just... Everyone's been fun, and this one is just, oh my god, these limited edition, look how sexy these are. I'm gonna open these up real quick. Oh, these are just, oh, that black and gold, look how sexy. Mm. They're, uh, they're royally sexy. These are, these are just nice. Man, these are so nice. And I was getting ready to buy a new pack of these because I had a few that was drying out, so this is perfect timing, as usual, powerful packs. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You make my day every day. This is great. If you don't know what these are, Sakura Pigma Micron pins are the best pens ever incredibly waterproof they're really good for for I, I like to lay them down and then i'll color them with alcohol based markers uh, this is a water based marker which will work just as well the best thing about these microns so far apart from them being all sexy and black and gold god they're so sleek mm, sorry i can't get over it really good i'll quit making weird sex noises normally when you buy a pack of pigger microns um the pack i normally buy anyways only ranges from a 0.005 to an eight okay well, these range from a 0 .003 to a 12. So I'll show you in here, I'll kind of go over what each uh, size looks like. 0 .003 is like hair fine. It's incredibly, incredibly tiny. Look at that, that minute line there. I'm gonna go over each size of the pins so you can kind of get an idea what they look like. And this is super solid black ink. Like it always looks really good. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't fade when you put water on it or uh, alcohol. And they last. Man, I, I'm telling you, I have some of these uh, Sakura Micron pens that are like legit probably 8 to 10 years old. And the thickness here, I went a little too thick on those lines right there. Can't draw a straight line. Sorry. There's a 5, I think, is what I'm using there. No, that's an 8. Okay. So now we're getting to the big fat ones. Here's the 10. I've never used a 10 or a 12 before, but man, look at this. Look at that line. Oh my god. Here comes a 12. You all ready for this? Come on to yourselves. That big fat line. God, these are awesome. These are so good. Now here, I'm not going to look yet. Notice I'm drawing on the back side of the first page, drawing towards the cover, because I'm afraid they're going to bleed, because the paper in this is pretty thin. Ain't going to lie, but we'll have to see. These are water-based markers, but uh, the Tombow markers are actually pretty good. They do, they're do they kind of streaky. Like, they're not the best pins ever, but they're not bad. I much prefer alcohol-based markers, because I like being able to blend them. Okay, the brush tip's definitely better. The uh, That fine tip on that first one was kind of choppy, and notice it made like a real dark line there at first. Yeah, I don't like that fine tip. Fine tip's not good. Brush tip's pretty rad, though. The shades don't go great together, but they're not bad. I'm not I'm not complaining. Um, so, all right, moment of truth. Let's see if they bled through. They did not. Oh, all right, cool. You guys may not know this, but I am an absolute maniac over sketchbooks. Like, I have way too many. Like, seriously, way too many. 
Way too many. It's been a little dinosaur sketchbook. I like this one. But now, I have this one to add to it. I really love sketchbooks. I love them a whole lot. But Powerful Packs is only adding to my crippling, crippling addiction to sketchbooks and art supplies. So, thanks. So, I'd be a big old fat liar if I told you I wasn't super, super excited to start this. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up right now and get into the drawing part of it and kind of go over what I'm doing as I do it. So, I'll see you guys in just a minute. So, for this sketch, as usual, I started out with my Stetler Marv Technico 2mm lead holder. Just throwing down a quick sketch. I had a bunch of green pens. I'm thinking zombie. You can see in the top right-hand corner of my mat there, I have a zombie painted. I like zombies. I like monsters. I just like drawing stuff like that. Once I did that, I went ahead and started outlining everything with a .01. Uh, I really like to get the fine details in the face and everything. And then once I do that, I'll go in with a fatter marker and start to outline and uh, add thicker lines where I need. After that, I took the Tombow 173 marker, which is the lightest of the three, and just kind of did a base color on all of it. Um, I didn't even attempt to really try to blend these together. Being water-based, I didn't expect them to blend too well, so I didn't even try it really. Next, I took the 245, which was the medium green, and started filling in the areas of the shadows. Uh, I knew I was going to go in with the even darker one and start to fill in finer areas of the shadow. If you can tell that the medium green is a much more broad area of shadows, and then I kind of refined it a little better with the darker green. After that, I took the Sakura a micron that big fat 12 it's god that thing it flows so well i'm telling you that pen alone oh god i've never used a 12 before in the sakura micron pens and that pen is delicious it is great so i took that and i outlined the whole thing and you can just see how fat that line is i love it i love big thick bold lines i'm, I'm a cartoonist at heart and a comic book artist at heart so any, i like big bold thick lines on things that's just that's just the kind of art that really appeals to me i like those popping colors those big thick lines just love the way it looks so I know it's not going to come as a surprise to anyone who's watched the first part of this video, but I love this box. But we need to see if it's worth it. So it looks like Powerful Packs actually valued the box at $57.55. And there's really only three items in this box. There's the three brush pens, they count them as a set, the pack of Micron pens, and the sketchbook. The Tombow brush pens are about three bucks a piece. They valued them at $9.57. Um, the special edition powerful packs sketchbook. I couldn't really look it up because it's you know it's a special edition one from them So I'm just gonna take their word for it. They said it was worth $11.99 So we're gonna say $11.99 now here's where it gets interesting the Sakura micron pins are a limited edition black barrel because they're celebrating the 100 years of Sakura Which is great. They've been around forever. They know their shit But powerful pack says the MSRP price for this pack of pins is $35.95 with the absolute cheapest ones I could find, it was an 8-pack, it wasn't even the 10-pack, it was an 8-pack, and it was retailing for about $46 on eBay. So I would dare say that this pack was actually closer to a $50 value rather than a $35.95. So I'm going to just go out on a limb and say $45, just to up it a little bit. So I'm going to say this box is closer to like $65, bucks, 67 bucks. So as for the value of it, man, this was worth it. This was a $35 box, and you got a $35 pack of pins. So Powerful absolutely crushed the shit out of this box. It was awesome. Worth it in every way. The value was excellent. And I know I'm a little biased because I absolutely love these Micron pens. They're my favorite pens ever. I've said it time and time again, and I will take it to my grave saying these are my favorite pens ever. But the fact that these are the black barrel with the gold trim, and you get the .003 all the way up to the 12, and you actually get another pen that's on a fine liner. It's, uh, it's, it says PN on it. I'm not really sure what that means, but it's more like a feud pen. It kind of almost has like a like a very fine felt tip to it. It's a really great pen. I used it quite a bit on that picture. But yeah, this box is worth it. Buy this box. This, this is great. If you can get this box now, get it because these are limited edition pens and I'm assuming you won't be able to find them ever again. But they are worth every penny because the cheapest pack I could find was over $45. So yeah, get this. The pens alone are worth this box. So Powerful, thank you so much for this box. It kicks total ass. You guys kick ass. I recommend you to everybody. <sighs> what a box. That was pretty awesome. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. I do really appreciate it. Love this box. Man, it was super good. Those pins. Mm, those pins. It gets not one, but two mm, chef's kiss for the day. So good. So good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And keep on drawing on. Later. Later.